What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I might be a tad bit late to go ahead and talking about this topic here, but I wanted to sit back and discuss it anyways because I think it's extremely important that the community, or the overall Call of Duty community, uh, really understands the direction that Activision is pushing towards. You know, I discussed a lot of things this recent week between the earnings that Activision is pulling in, the player accounts that they have, so on and so forth, and everything, once again, is pointing in the direction that they just simply don't care about this franchise. But this right here, again... It's going to just sum it up even further for you guys because there's a lot of people out there who somehow still think that Activision deserves your hard-earned cash. They deserve the money that you are giving to them. And like I said, once you see this, again, it's just going to further prove my point that they don't care about you. The only thing they care about is the money that is coming out of your pockets. But ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and hop into the topic of today's video, I do want to mention, as I usually do, we are on the grind to 50,000 subscribers. We have been pumping through it. Seriously, we're about to hit, what, uh, 300 past 41,000? I mean, that's just... Once again, insane. You guys have been going absolutely bonkers. So, of course, if you do want to support the channel and you enjoy what you hear in today's video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you can be notified on all my recent uploads. And also, if you do want a little extra content besides videos, I do stream every single day uh, besides Sundays, of course. And today, we will be checking out a stream on Twitch. I kind of mix it between Kick and Twitch. But regardless, if you guys want to catch both my platforms, I have links to everything, everything down in the description of this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now over on Twitter, Charlie Intel put out a post basically showcasing to the overall Call of Duty community what Activision's future plans are for the overall franchise. As you can see right here, <laughs> Call of Duty The Board Game has been announced, created by Arcane Wonders in partnership with Activision, launching later this year. I believe this is actually the official cover art of what it's going to look like for the board game. And at the end of the day, I got to be honest, you know, this isn't a bad thing necessarily. And, and obviously, it's not taken away from the core development time of the Call of Duty games, right? It's not like it's Infinity Ward making this. It's not like it's Treyarch or Sledgehammer making this. No, it's going to be Arcane Wonders. So it's going to be a completely different team that is going to be sponsored by Activision. Basically, Activision is going to give them a fat check to put together the game, and then they'll publish it, you know, so on and so forth, just like how they do with all the other development teams who work on Call of Duty titles. But once again, what it personally shows to me is is the direction that Activision is pointing towards when it comes to the overall Call of Duty franchise. I've said this many and many and many times again on this channel, but like I said, there's still people out there who truthfully think that they care a ton about, you know, us, the people who have been playing Call of Duty forever now. You know, even if it's not been forever, you know, even if you started at Black Ops 2 or one of the Jetpack CODs, if you just have a passion for COD, they don't care about you, and this is exactly why. They are trying to turn Call of Duty once again into a business instead of a game, and it's working. You know, they make money off of it. They profit off of it. It's almost, like I said, a subscription service. You know, it's not even like it's a game anymore. It's literally a subscription service. They get yearly payments out of this community like it's nothing. They don't even have to put forth effort. They just do the same thing again and again and again, and they get yearly payments that are basically the same, if not better, if not, you know, even crazier every year that goes by. They want this franchise to be a business, not a passionate game. Call of Duty, the actual game right now, is suffering through so many horrible things. I mean, between just the developers not communicating at all with their communities, not fixing up the game to, you know, their community standards, uh, just the absolute tone-deaf things that Activision does on the regular, how much they push their microtransactions and push all of these things to sell, yet and still they won't upgrade our servers, they won't, you know, make sure the anti-cheat is on point. All of the above, you know, and I know I've, I've seen examples of the anti-cheat actually working and, you know, stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, I've seen multiple different accounts, people who are purposely trying to get banned, who cheat very openly on like, you know, all these other social media platforms. And they go months without even getting touched. So again, you know, it, it, the, the anti-cheat picks and chooses when it wants to actually take action. So, you know, all of these other sectors in the game, just just the overall quality of the game, they don't care about it. The only thing they are focused on is expanding the brand of Call of Duty. And that's what this board game shows to me. Instead of looking and hearing our cries, hearing that we are suffering, looking that the player base is actually declining, like I said in my previous video, a lot of people are celebrating that the player base is declining, but I want to as well, trust me, I do, but their income is still increasing. Their sales for Modern Warfare 2 were insane for the base game. Their microtransaction sales, just for Call of Duty alone, are absolutely insane for the base game. They're making a ton of money, if not more than they ever had, on a game that is quote-unquote, you know, losing players. 
That's all that matters to them. And instead of fixing the game, because they don't, they don't, they don't see a reason for that. They don't see a reason for that. So instead of doing that, they're just going to keep expanding to try to, you know, give different avenues of money for the Call of Duty franchise. So their investors can obviously be happy because once again, they want Call of Duty to be a business. And I understand, you know, Call of Duty has been multiple different things. Even, you know, when when it comes to the actual video game itself, it's so many different things that Call of Duty was. Even before the fact, you know, Call of Duty has always been huge. But at the end of the day, what is their biggest factor? The video game. What we've been playing since day one. Call of Duty 1, Call of Duty 2, 3, 4, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty World at War, you know, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, all of the above, you know. That is what has been pumping Call of Duty year after year after year. That is what has been giving it its popularity, right? But they won't put any focus on what really matters. Because instead of honing in on what makes Call of Duty great, they're trying to make it, you know, a game for everybody. An everything game, you know? It's not, it's not like X-Defiant that you see right here. X-Defiant knows it's an arena shooter. It knows what it wants to be. And it's not trying anything else in the world to try to fit into any, you know, trends, fit into anything. No, they know what they are, and they're going to push with that. And because of that one reason, I guarantee it's going to build a player base. Even if it's not, you know, if it, if it doesn't even blow past Call of Duty, it's still going to be a very good, fun game that will have a consistent player base, and I guarantee it will probably thrive on. Guarantee it, because they know what they want to be. Their game has its own identity. Call of Duty, it has that identity, but once again, like I said, it's trying to branch off and be an everything game. And that's a problem. That's a trend that we see everywhere. All of our favorite franchises are trying to be everything games. You know, Halo, for example, trying to bring on this live service trend, this bullcrap that has been just ruining gaming for ages now. I'm shocked they didn't even try to put a BR in the game. I really truthfully am because I thought they would probably try to fit trend on that. The Battlefield franchise, my goodness, it has lost its identity for so long now. And, you know, it, it's honestly, in my opinion, because EA doesn't know what to do with the franchise. You know, Battlefield 2042, it might not be the best game ever, but you have to remember that game got literally reprogrammed like 50 trillion different times. I mean, it started off as a freaking BR game, for the love of God. It wasn't even going to be a Battlefield game. It was going to be a straight up BR, and that is it. No Battlefield whatsoever. No 64-player Conquest, 128-player stuff, nothing. It was going to be a BR. Keep that in mind. And then they chalked it, and, you know, they tried to bring in Battlefield while still keeping the specialists that were in the game, then adding in an Extraction game mode because Extractions are kind of trending. Every game is doing it right now. Well, at least every top dog game that I could possibly think of in the FPS genre. They are chasing trends, and instead of owning what they are, owning what type of game you know, they, they specialize in, they want to be something for everyone. It's an attractive business model. You can't blame them, right? You can't blame EA. You can't blame Activision. You can't blame Microsoft. You can't blame anybody out there who's trying to do this because that's what you want. You want to be able to try to bring in as much money as possible. And if your game is that popular and it could reach, you know, pretty much every crowd out there, it's going to make absolute bank. But that's not good for the overall game in general. And I guess it doesn't make any sense, and it doesn't mean anything to the publishers. But coming from a consumer standpoint, a fan of the franchise, a lover of the franchise, it hurts to see them take this direction because I know if it continues to go in this direction, the soul, the passion, the love behind the project will be gone. You know, it's 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 just going to keep being milked, and it, it just won't get that love that the game truly deserves. But ladies and gentlemen, do me a huge favor. Make sure you go down in the comment section and leave your opinions down below on how you feel about this board game coming into the whole Call of Duty universe. Like I said, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a freaking board game that's not even developed by any of the developers or anything of that sort. You know, it might actually be kind of fun. Casual for once, right? God, unless they find a way to incorporate skill-based matchmaking into this board game. But at the end of the day, like I said, what I see out of it is just the direction that Activision is pushing the franchise. A business model and not a passionate game. A passionate project. And because of that... I just don't see anything good coming out of the future of this franchise right now. And at least until we stop, you know, feeding them money with base game, you know, purchases, microtransaction purchases, all these purchases that we're giving to them. This is the reason this game is pushing in the direction that it is. You know, if we actually slow down, they will start caring. I mean, look at Battlefield, for example, you know, they got butchered, right? Absolutely slaughtered. 
to the point where they're actually caring. They're listening to the community. They're talking to the community. They're trying to build a game around what Battlefield's supposed to be about and not about what the you know current trend is all about. You know, who knows what the next Battlefield game will be like. I'm kind of curious to see if they'll actually nail it this time, especially with all the goats that are behind the scenes now, you know, working at DICE that EA hired. But like I said, you know, at the end of the day, it's proof of concept. You stop feeding their pockets. You hurt them where, you know, it actually matters. You'll get some results. Until then, you already know where the Call of Duty franchise is heading. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. If almost I hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe to that notification button. Also, on chat me, there's two ways to do so. I have Twitter and Discord, but link down in the description. And also, want to catch me with live streams of video games, do over on Twitch. Link that is in the description as well. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.